Long Thanh International Airport Vietnamese, San Bay Quoc Tê Long Thanh is an airport planned for construction in Long Thanh, Dong Nai Province, southern Vietnam. Located approximately 40 kilometers 25 miles east of Ho Chi Minh City, it has been approved to start construction by the Vietnamese government on April 1, 2021. However, the Vietnamese government has decided to begin two years earlier in 2019 and it will be finished by 2025. It will serve over 100 million passengers annually when built to the maximum design capacity. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Urgent necessity of a new airport. Tan Son Nhat International Airport is the only international airport in the planned Ho Chi Minh City metropolitan area, covering 30,404 square kilometers (11,739 square miles), with an estimated population of 20 to 22 million inhabitants by 2020, of which there will be 16 to 17 million urban inhabitants, accounting for 77 to 80 percent of total population. Tan Son Nhat Airport was built during the Vietnam War to support war transportation, hence its location inside the crowded Saigon where growth is limited. Due to location and safety issues, it is difficult to expand to meet the increasing annual growth of passengers. The maximum capacity of Tan Son Nhat is 25 million passengers per annum but in 2016 it handled 32.5 million. The flow of international tourists to the south of Vietnam is increasing dramatically, by 15 to 20 percent annually. Promoting the domestic market current population of 87 million, forecast of 100 million by 2020 by building a new airport that can adapt to future needs as necessary. Tan Son Yacht Airport will serve the international and domestic flights until the completion of the new Long Tan International Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Master Plan The Master Plan for Long Tan International Airport was approved by the Prime Minister Phan Van Kai in 2006 and several adjustments have been made through time. The project faced mixed public reaction for its expensive cost and far distance from the center of Ho Chi Minh City. Based on the demand of transportation, the investment will be divided in phases. The Southern Airports Corporation, a company under the Ministry of Transport, Vietnam, is in charge of development of this project. Topic: <laughs> Phase 1, 2019 to 2025. The first phase is estimated to cost US$7.8 billion and will be divided into three sub-phases. <laughs> Phase 1A According to the original plan, the airport would handle 25 million passengers per year after this phase is completed, however, the proposed capacity was later lowered to 17 million passengers per year to reduce construction cost. US$5.6 billion will be allocated to this phase. One terminal will be built along with a single runway. Phase 1B Another runway will be built and increase the total capacity to 25 million passengers per annum. Phase 1C The rest of necessary facilities will be built and land clearance for future phases will be made. The airport will begin operating in 2025. Topic: <laughs> Phase 2, 2025 to 2035. The capacity will be doubled to 50 million passengers per annum and the third runway will be added when the phase is finished, which is scheduled to be in 2035. Topic: Phase 3, 2035 to 2050. The airport will reach its maximum design capacity at 80 to 100 million passengers and 5 million tons of cargo per year. Four runways will be operational after the third phase. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Relating access roads and railways. The airport will be accessible by National Route 51, Ho Chi Minh City Long Ton Highway, Bien Hoa Vung Tau Expressway, Long and Long Ton Expressway, Ho Chi Minh City Long Ton High Speed Railway, Ho Chi Minh City NHA Trang High Speed Railway. <laughs> 